With the launch of Apple Arcade coming later this year, Apple announced during WWDC 2019 that they're now supporting PS4 and Xbox controllers natively to tvOS. Playing great games like Oceanhorn 2, of course, is even better with great game controllers. Xbox One S? Yes. And PlayStation DualShock 4? But that's not the best part. You can now also connect these controllers with your iOS devices running iOS 13. So let's walk you through how. If you're like me and you own a PS4, you can now connect your PS4 DualShock controller to your iOS device, so long as it's running iOS 13. The first thing you should do is go to the settings section on your iOS device and make sure Bluetooth is on. And once it's on, grab your PS4 controller and push and hold the PS button and share button at the same time for 5 seconds or when you see the light bar start blinking. Once you see that light blink, you should now see DualShock 4 wireless controller on the Bluetooth settings on your device. Press it to connect and the light bar should turn pink, which means that the controller is now connected. And you can now play games like Real Racing or Fortnite or whatever games support controllers. As for the Xbox One controller, you have to have a controller with a model number 1708, also known as the controller that ships with the Xbox One S. Or if you'd like, you could just use a new Elite 2 controller that Xbox just announced at E3, which also supports Bluetooth connection. I've had this custom Xbox One S controller for a couple of years now, and if yours won't connect for whatever reason, connect it to your PC or Xbox and make sure that the firmware is up to date. If it isn't, you'll most likely have issues connecting to your iOS device, so make sure to update the firmware first. So just like the PS4 controller, all you have to do is turn the controller on and hit the connect button at the top, wait for the Xbox logo to start blinking rapidly, and you should see the Xbox wireless controller on the Bluetooth settings on your device. Tap it to connect and you should be good to go. If you're wondering how these controllers work for Fortnite and other games, that video is currently in the works, so if you want to stay tuned, make sure to subscribe to Apple Insider on YouTube. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.